What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back ahead again with another video. So, we gotta talk about Solo Sokoa's pre tape uh, promo segment. In my personal opinion, this was very good for the simple fact of what story they potentially could tell with this going forward from Money in the Bank leading into SummerSlam. They told us a lot and a very it was it wasn't even like it was maybe three minutes at that it was very short but effective in the story that they were trying to convey so i was thinking you know they were gonna have some type of maybe in-ring promo segment talking about you know pretty much what the agenda is for the new this new version of the bloodline as they are have already packed up paul Heyman and sent him to the gulags right you see them all sitting well, you see Solo sitting down and the obviously you see the Tongans and Jacob Fatu behind them kind of in this room, this dark menacing room or whatnot. And you, and you see him and he it's all it's really focused on Solo and he made it very clear from the jump. And this is what I loved. He essentially said Roman Reigns wasn't man enough. To get the job done at WrestleMania. And he kept reiterating that Roman Reigns wasn't man enough to beat Cody Rose. Roman Reigns wasn't man enough to uh to uphold the family's tradition in a sense of being the tribal chief. Roman Reigns wasn't man enough to to take care of the family anymore ever since he lost at WrestleMania. But he's like, all that doesn't matter now because I am the tribal chief now. And what he plans on doing at uh, Money in the Bank, he's made it very clear that he's coming for Cody Rhodes. And he also made it very clear that he's coming for the WWE Undisputed Championship. And he made this clear too. He said... If Roman has a problem with that, then he he gonna have to deal with me. And I love this because we're finally seeing Solo really embrace that he is the guy. And what's funny and how poetic this is, so Roman had said at one point Solo will be the tribal chief. Hell, Jimmy and Jay had both said they didn't even want to be the tribal chief. If anybody should be the tribal chief, it's Solo. Guess what? It is Solo. He's the tribal chief now. Now he's fully embraced that. And I, I just love how, how complete that story is. The fact that now he's finally embraced the idea of being the tribal chief. When at one point, Roman and, and Paul and Jimmy and Jay at one point, Thought he would be the future tribal chief. And now look at where we're at. Whole time he's he's holding the lay. You know. He's he's really selling this. Like they did a really good job with this whole segment. This is this back. Well pre pre tape promo. But it worked. Because you're now getting some context. Of why Solo is doing what he's doing. He's made it publicly clear now. That he that's how he feels about Roman. Roman wasn't man enough to get the job done at WrestleMania. But once Solo does what he has to do at Money in the Bank, he's making it very clear that he's coming for the World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, he's coming for the undisputed um, WWE Championship, and he's going to take that from Cody. And as it ended, um, Jacob Fatu put the lay on Solo, and everybody put the ones up. And I love this because... It's very direct. Now we know. And it's it's really given a clear indication. I do feel like, once again, still the bloodline will win. I do feel like something's going to happen. And it may be a situation where Cody will get pinned by Solo. He will. Which I, I know some people wouldn't have, would have a problem with it. But I'm okay with that. Only because, I mean, if you want to be honest, Solo's never beaten Cody. And you're trying to present this guy as the new tribal chief. It only makes sense for him to get the pin. And it only makes sense for him to pin Cody. Because now it sets up the idea. I pinned you. I want a match. 
at SummerSlam for the WWE Undisputed uh, Championship. That's it. That's the only reason this promo kind of alluded to that. That's the direction that they're going. He wants to face Cody because he thinks he can do what Roman couldn't do. And it only makes sense. You call yourself the tribal chief, but with no championship, you need the championship to back that up, to really solidify him being this new tribal chief. And I just love that he sent shots at Roman. This was very, very good. I do think that's what's going to happen at uh, Money in the Bank. He will, uh, Cody will get pinned by Solo. Obviously, it's going to take a lot to take down Cody, but he will get pinned by Solo. And I do think it's going to be a situation that SummerSlam, we're going to have Cody versus Solo. And I think me personally, that's when you bring back Roman, bro. I know some people are saying wait, but I think, Unless, unless you do a situation where you bring back Jimmy. It, it, I, it, I got to see how they do this. Because I, I honestly wouldn't have a problem if Roman came back. I, I don't know how to do this. But we know whenever Roman comes back, it's up for Solo. Because now he's taking out the wise man. He's added more people. Well, he took out Jimmy. He's taking out the wise man and Paul Heyman. He's added more people that... You know, I'm sure Roman didn't plan on having being in the bloodline. He put the lay on himself. He's calling himself the tribal chief. He wants people to acknowledge him. Hell, he wants Cody. He said, Cody, you at, you're going to acknowledge me on uh, at Money in the Bank. That's Roman's thing, making people acknowledge him. He wants the WWE Undisputed Championship from Cody. And he wants to solidify himself as the new tribal chief of the bloodline roman's going to have some issues with that and i can't wait till when he comes back because at this point now roman can fire back with oh i wasn't man enough right ah oh, this is gonna be this is good this is what you need Get, getting some really good heel heat for solo love what they're doing with, the, with him because at one point he was floundering for a bit but now they've really brought it back in a great way people love to boo this guy because they only they only want roman they don't want solo i think this is really fantastic man i love this so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy the solo uh sokoa um promo segment man i, I definitely did it we now have some clear clear indication of where things possibly gonna head head towards at SummerSlam. solo has called out roman basically called him a bum and now he's taking over things so let me know how y'all feel about that whole situation but i appreciate all love and support bro 250k and i'm still gonna speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one Peace.